Yeah, how you guys? What is up today? I'm gonna be doing a review on the, on the you guessed it, the, well, 1984. It says on the back of these figures. Or um, I figure I'm gonna show you later. It's 1990, I think. Yeah, these are the um, real Ghostbuster Kenner action figure range, and like these are from ni 1980s. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go through each figure of the four Ghostbusters here, and. Get with the proton packs and show the figure at the end. So yeah, I'll start with Venkman. So you've got Peter Venkman here, and he looks. Um, the lightness is actually okay for what you know you see in the cartoon, the real Ghostbusters. He's got green eyes. One side there. Got the other side. Yeah, that's the back detail pretty nicely. Get the tops nicely done, and and then you've got the white shirt there as well, and obviously the pockets I think, and there's the Ghostbuster logo on his shoulder. I think that's the ghost trap there, or or, or something, or I don't know what's on the belt. Like the trans got crease and wrinkle material effect, and the boots, and obviously the back. Well, the thing is right here. Well, you can't see it because I got a rubbish camera. Um, it says 1984 Columbia Pictures. And this is where one of the proton packs goes. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Well, each Ghostbuster comes with their own proton pack. Well, Peter Pe Peter Venkman comes with he comes with the green one. Well, all you do is you sort of. These toys are quite rare, by the way, because of the 1980s. You sort of plug it in there. So you have, so you have it on there, like plugged in, and then you put it in the arm like this. As you can see here, you take it. Well, unfortunately, there used to be a uh, there used to be another blue bit there. Where, it, where it's, it, it just snapped off, but it hands pretty fine though. And it's meant to look like this on display, so yeah. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. But, and there also used to be a little lever there, so you can spin that and spin the, the beam around, but I have got other proton packs that can do that, definitely. Yeah, I'll get into articulation on this figure. Yeah, I'll just show you what it looks like. So, um, head, full 360, arms, full 360, they don't bend at the elbows, they've got elbow pads, you see that, yeah, it kicks out pretty good, oh this one probably, probably kick out better, yeah, cause it hits that doesn't it, yeah. there's no waist articulation but you can sit down, so that's cool. So yeah, let's get on to Ray Stans. Okay, so he looks fairly similar to the, to the costume as you see in the movie, but it's not quite the same. Because there's a Citizen Ghost episode and they wear the old uniforms and, you know, get these ones. <laughs> so the face sculpt to Ray Stans, yeah, it looks okay, but I think it's a bit too orange in the eyes as you can see there. But the hair turned out really good because this is what it's like in the show. Top. And he's got a kind of <laughs> big, you know, torso, it looks like, yeah. And then the pockets, Ghostbuster logo, sides, there's only one elbow pad there, yeah. And then the trousers are quite big, like chubby legs. <laughs> and the boots are obviously, you know, bigger because he's got the pants tucked in, yeah. Yeah, this is the back, and this is well his, well, back side. <laughs> Look at that. And then the, uh, sorry, this is the, um, the, uh, you know, where you clip his paste the back, the um, proton pack. So, yeah, I'll show you Ray's one. So it, oh, here we are. So, Ray comes with like an orangey one, as you can see here. Well, I'm not. Wait. Yeah, I'll put it on you just just so you can see what it looks like on you on you when the whole feature's unbroken. 
clicked into place there as you heard so oh sorry you get it like this just like I said yeah that's what I was talking about by the broken blue bit earlier on and, and you see that level right there and you pull that I'll zoom out here oh it's fallen off no It spins round like this. It's, it's too long to show you. Yeah, I'll show it like this. Fine. Right, see that? Yeah, you can see that. Okay. All right. I shouldn't have to show you again the figures. I'm just showing you that. So, four, three, six D at the head. Oh, squeak. I just saw that head, but it does do that. 4 through 6 of the arms. It kicks out pretty good. And you can sit him down just like you can with Peter Venkman. So yeah, that's Ray. Next up, you have Egon, and he has a pretty tall figure, like compared to the other Ghostbuster figures. Well, the likeness is it's pretty good to the cartoon show, but then you can see, like, the eyes are really blue and the glasses are down. Yeah, but anyway. So, head turned out really good on the, on the side and there. Yeah, the back's really good because that's how it was like in the show. Top. It's like a, a kind of teal or a, a turquoisey dark blue colour, this jumpsuit. You can see the pockets and kind of some uh, I don't know what, I don't know what this thing is and then you can see like crease and wrinkle material effect and then the boots or things like trousers are tucked in back for the proton pack and the elbow pad well you know what I'll show you Egon's because they all had a different color in the in, in one picture like Egon came with a red one as you can see here well the lever's broken so I can't show you so, let's get into articulation. So, head, full 360, full 360 at the arm, and then that's how I can kick out on the right leg. But his left leg can kick out to about that much. Well, from this angle, it's from this angle, if you're looking at a real person, that's right. And this is left. Let's get onto Winston now. There we are. Get Winston Zeddemore. Oh, and his proton pack is yellow. Yeah, it's like a neon yellow, like a, a mix with green. Oh, it's, it's quite cool. And this one does have the lever and the not thing wrong, so it's perfect. This one. I'm not going to it anyway. So, there's the Ghostbusters logo. And, and he's wearing a, a blue uniform. And there's been a bit of yellowing or greening effect to the uniform there, because it's probably largely because it's a different type of plastic. Like the head's detailed pretty nicely to the show, of course. One side, this side, back of the head. Top. And the, the boots are, you know, just like the other members of the team, except for Peter Venkman, because he has his, you know, trousers untucked. Yeah, there's a lot more crease and wrinkle material effect on Winston. It's a bit odd. So yeah, head does a full 360. There is a full 360 at the arm. Ah, that's that's funny. Like, yeah, the thing on his belt went through the leg. Okay, but it can kick out. I think this one can actually kick out a bit more better. Oh, I don't know, maybe. And now I've showed you all the proton packs, I can show the, the bonus figure I wanted to show you. It is this. Yeah, maybe some of you for, have forgotten about it, maybe some of you remember it. It is this. The yeah, Lewis Tully dressed as a Ghostbuster figure. And he has the red thing at the back for his pro, for a proton pack. I'll show you what it looks like when you put, when you put it on. So, I think they released this because... You know, when Ghostbusters 2 came out, you know, 
at the end he he became a Ghostbuster, like the unofficial fifth uh, Ghostbuster, of course. And, and it was a huge success, and they released this. So yeah, so the face sculpt for Lewis Tully from the cartoon looks really really good, because like, you can see the eyebrows and the glass and the eyes and uh, one side, this side, and then back, top. Uh, and instead of the logo being on the uh, shoulder, you've got it on the torso, on here. It's, that's interesting. Uh, and obviously, it, it's all yellow, with all the boots being yellow. And also, that the legal garb is on the leg. And... Uh, and, um, you can't see that, but it says... 1990 Columbia Pictures Kenner. Yeah, these figures are all from Kenner, so I'll get into articulation first for a proton pack on. So, head, four three sixty, of course, and then a four three sixty at the arm. It can kick out, yeah, the same, I think, on both legs, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take this perfect yellow one on, on him. So, plug it in. Push down like that. There we are. It, it, it just clicks into place. And if you want to take it off, just pull it off gently. And then there we are. There we are. Got it on. Okay. Yeah. What the heck? Why has that done that? There we are. So that's what it looks like on display when you put a proton pack on Lewis Tully. Obviously, if you pull that, that's the same thing with the other figures. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, and... Yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. And have a nice day. And peace out. Bye.